We're good. All right, good evening, everyone. Time is 6.30, May 24th, 2022, the Abington Conservation Committee meeting. First item is old business, SE084-549, vote to approve or deny the stormwater management plan located at 75 Dale Street. I thought two meetings ago we, when we voted on the NOI that was included in it, um, but I guess not. So we have to take a vote on that separately. Um, anybody from the board have any questions? Should I abstain because I wasn't at that vote? Probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. Anybody else have anything about it or open it to the public? I wasn't there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it back to the board. I do have, I'm sorry, I did have Go a question. Ahead. And one of the things that I was concerned about, and when the discussion came back to the board at uh, that meeting, it was closed to the public, it was brought back, and I thought we were going to discuss it a little further, but the discussion was made and then an amendment, I mean a motion right after it. One of the things that bothered me is that we had both peer reviews there, one for the wetlands and one for the um, stormwater. They answered the questions, the applicants answered the questions from the peer reviewers, but the peer reviewers, did they have an opportunity to review the answers? I don't think they did. I know Bob Gray didn't. He did some, but he didn't have an opportunity to answer everything. So did the peer reviewer for stormwater have an opportunity to review the applicants' responses, and were they all meeting the requirements? From what I saw, reviewing the plans and reviewing the revised plans, I think they were dated April 14th, they addressed the concerns from the the stormwater peer reviewer. Okay, and he was from PMP? Yes. And he was happy with all the responses from the applicant? That I don't know, because they didn't want to pay for a second peer review. The, the applicant didn't want to pay for a second peer review. Thank you. I just feel that, um, you know, we, we, we hire and we, we vote to have a peer review. The peer reviewer puts the questions out there, the applicant answers them, but the peer reviewer didn't have final opinion to state to the board. So that was my concern in both situations. All right. Any further discussion? Someone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to uh, uh, vote to approve SE084-549. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? No. All right, next on the agenda is notice of intent filed by Abington DPW Beaverbrook Playground Committee for the rehabilitation of Beaverbrook Playground located at 1 Ralph G. Hamlin Lane. They still do not have a file number, and they asked for a continuance to the next meeting. Would someone like to make a motion to continue? I'll make a motion to continue to the next meeting, which will be June, I don't have a calendar in front of me. 7th, I think. June 7th. It'll be the second Tuesday. So. The 4th is a Saturday. That's July. June 14th? Oh, 14th. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Next up is SE084-0555, abbreviated Notice of Resource Area Delineation, filed by Jim Lambert, WP East Acquisitions, LLC, located at 0 Summer Street. Uh, peer review was done a week and a half ago by LEC. Uh, and they had some concerns, and I believe they're asking for a continuance as well to the next meeting. Okay, so they're going to ask for a continuance to the June 14th meeting as well. Someone would like to make a motion for that? I'll make a motion to continue SE084 055 until June 14th meeting. I'll second that. 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, new business, um, enforcement order, or possible enforcement order on 28 John L. Sullivan Way. So just a quick synopsis on this. Uh, it was Sunday. I received an email or text message from an Abington resident who had gotten a text message from a mountain biker over in the state park saying that there was an excavator doing work within Ames Knoll State Park. Come to find out that there is a, I don't know how wide it is, uh, section of around the state park, but uh, the small section goes from John L. Sullivan Way down to the water near the, I guess would be the north end of the, of the Cleveland Pond. Mm -hmm. So Tony reached out, or I don't know if he reached out to you yesterday. We set up a meeting yesterday at 5 o'clock that Tim, Gina, myself attended. We met with the property owner, walked the site, and there were two wetland areas that the excavator basically just plowed right through and made made a road. So now you have two wetland areas that are basically being held back on one side by that road. Um, there's no wetland flagging out there. I mean, clearly just by the, the vegetation, the soils, they are wetlands. Um, property owner yesterday stated that no more work is going to be done until everything is taken care of and he made it a point that he wants to <laughs> take care of what, what's been done. Yeah. Um, so I guess now we have to sit, figure out what we want to do. Um, I believe DEP's also been notified when the environmental police went out there on Sunday as well. I haven't heard back from, from them yet. Uh, I have a phone call and an email into Andrew Point. I haven't heard back from him yet today. I know he was busy, Tony said today, with uh, some training. So hopefully I get a, get a uh, call back or an email from him tonight or tomorrow. So I don't know if we want to issue an enforcement order for this. I'm here, I'm gonna work with you guys. Oh yeah, no, I know, it's just it, what we have to do. Yeah part of the documentation process and process is typically we do an enforcement order. So I think we should do an enforcement order. Yeah, like I said, Tim and, Tim and Jean were there. I don't know if you guys want to speak on what you saw as well. Yeah, um, just walking the property. I mean, I saw the, it looked like to me a vernal pool, but I wasn't sure. It's obviously being fed from somewhere and it was just cut in half by the road. Um, there was cattails in that body of water and ferns. There were sedges and, you know, that's a critical habitat area for a lot of um, wood frogs and salamanders and other turtles, whatever. I, when I did go home, I looked up the property on Mass Mapper and um, did see the critical areas. I didn't print them, but if you want to pass it down, you can just check it out. That was from Mass Mapper, so um, it's, it's just pretty. It's it's a pretty vital area. It's a core habitat. I think that's the crossing that Gene is talking about. Yeah. The first one. Because yeah. when I looked at it, it has that. And also There's another one up there, yeah. yeah. Section. You might want to show Alex and everything, but um, the keys are to the side if you want to slide it over. But it's uh, a pretty, pretty wet area. How far did you go? Um, I, d I don't even know how far feet-wise. I don't know, maybe went 200 feet or so. and then it, one. Maybe a little more, and I let the boys go further because then they dropped down like six feet and they were going through mud and everything. And I just said, Well, I'll just stay right up here. So I went to the bike path. Yeah, I mean, the, the excavator was, part, was a couple hundred feet from the, from the pond. Yeah. Who was by the pond? 
Huh? It was from the pond? No, no, he, the excavator didn't get to the pond. Oh, he stopped okay. before that. Before, Well, I'd say probably 200 maybe. At least 200, yeah. 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 Okay. That's got to be all of 500 feet long though, wouldn't you say? It's five and a half acres. Five and a half acres, okay. Yeah. It's got to be, yeah, well, yeah. From that, the, yeah, that. From the first wetland crossing to yeah. the, with the excavator, yeah. Do you have pictures? Yes. Yes. Um, Biomap to core habitat is the dark green. Mm -hmm. And there's the, the wetlands over there and over there. Oh, that part, okay. I want to scroll to the right because there's about 20 of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Ouch. Right in there. That's, that's the crossing that Jane was just talking about. Yeah. That's the pipe that killed. Who are those from? Um, the one with the yeah. Yeah. cattails, yeah. The cattails to the right. And that's the other crossing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's yeah. hard to tell. I mean, it, yeah, I, I, it looked like a real oh, yeah, because sure. of the. Sure. You thought it did, or so yeah. Her, I know. I'll show you a pond. It's hard to tell. It is. And those are roots. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Some pictures on Facebook. Somebody took. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Somebody took some pictures oh, and posted it. Facebook. Uh, it looked more like okay. this. You couldn't see. So, any yeah, of that. That house right there. Like right, right at the end of the, right at the end of Cleveland's pond, basically. Okay. okay. And these poles have markings. Those are just some signage that the uh, home one I had out there. Just no trespassing. Okay. Is this close to that vernal? This is pool? The, that's the second one. That oh, was, that was kind of more of a swampy area. Yeah. The first one was more of a vernal pool. That we, okay. Not that we that's, used, but that's that we used the other side of the other one we just saw. So that's kind of what that was. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. I see. And, and the water's small. behind me there, probably hmm? I don't know, 150 feet behind what? me. Okay. That's probably a good oh, idea. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So Generally, that there's some culverts there from the flooding yeah. property. Yes. Um, for drainage from their yard. Okay. So I mean, and I think that's only a PVC pipe. Yeah, it looked like a six-inch PVC pipe or something. Yeah. Been so there for a little bit. Obviously, you know, there's there's it's a wet area and it's draining into that area. So it's pretty. Uh, for being as dry as it has been, you know, we haven't really had any significant rain to speak of, and it was. Well, yeah, that first the first crossing that we saw. I mean, that water is right, right it's there. It's right so there's there. A, if there's a rain event, yeah, it's going to be a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I think what's going to have to happen, I, unless I hear back from Andrew, it, it's something. It's probably you're probably going to have to get a wetland scientist out there to look at it and. Come up with a temp, at least right now, a temporary fixed a stabilization plan or something yeah. until, yeah, or even something just to make even make the water passable to, to, to get from one end yeah. to the other, too. Um, he still hasn't gotten out of there, so I can have him once he passes by open that back up. Uh, I don't think yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna need to be more than that. No, I know, but temporarily, if that's what you want. No, no because, don't do that. It can make it worse. Yeah. It's just going to send everything down into that lower area. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. You got, yeah, I mean, cause you're going to need to get a wetland scientist out there to basically come up with a replication plan. So I would have them. A restoration plan? Re yeah, restoration plan. I'm sorry, not a replication plan. Yeah. Um, and I'd have them just come up with an idea, you know, what a good temporary fix is. But being the growing season, too, you're going to want to get that. A restoration done in the air. Yeah, ASAP. 
Yeah. It's still okay to plant in the fall for mm -hmm. some of those mm -hmm. things. I don't know what kind of trees those were. A lot of pine in there. Yeah. White pine. Okay. You know, your typical hydric soil type. Yeah. Yeah. Indicators. Indicators, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we want to work with you so you can get it get it squared away as fast yeah. as possible, and then. Um, yeah. I've already talked to someone that has one of those signs. So oh, good. And once I hear back from DEP, I'll I'll copy you and all the correspondence that way. Okay. You know what's going on, and we get it resolved quick. And then once once the um, restoration's done, you can come before us again with whatever you'd like to do, and then we can review that and see. Take it, take it from there. Yeah, uh, and I don't know, have you reached out to, or are you planning to reach out to any other boards, like planning board? Because if there's any sort I, of drainage. I don't know which way I'm going to go. Maybe if I do like a bridge, maybe. Yeah. Um, that's the easier, better way to do it. Um, and like I said, I didn't know. I didn't know any of this stuff before I did it. So <laughs> I'm running as I'm going, so. And that's, your, th that's why this usually happens. Yeah. Can you tell me what the drainage is going to be? Is it going to be like that? Well, after. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He, after this gets taken care of, yeah. He'll probably need to do an ANRAD, right? Mm -hmm. Well, an RDA, then we'll basically, we can tell him whether he needs an ANRAD or right. whatever he wants to do. Right. That's just the cheapest way to start. Yeah. Any, any further discussion? So I want to make a motion for the enforcement order. I'll make a motion for the enforcement order for 28 John L. Sullivan Way. I have a second. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 We can start. Do we'll discuss. <laughs> what, want to discuss the conditions on it after? Go through the rest of this meeting, or? Uh, yeah, we could. That, that's my. That's my personal address. The land is a separate parcel. That's not the actual. Is it? Is it zero Hancock Street? Okay, so let's amend that motion um, to zero Hancock Street. Okay, do I have a motion for the amended motion? I'll make a motion to amend uh, enforcement order on 28 John L. Sullivan Way to, uh, yeah, to zero Hancock Street. Right, thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, uh, building permits and site visits. We just discussed the only site visit we did since last meeting. Building permits. The only building permit was the one for 20 Crossman, which we had the meeting on last week. There are no meeting minutes to approve. Correspondence. We got some from National Grid. They want to do some right of way maintenance. So we want to take a look at that. No. Yeah, well, you know you want to get that sign. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I only poked you because you had made the motion yes. and I figured since <laughs> you did it once. <laughs> or you had seconded. Yes. So one other thing for correspondence. Um, Tuesday, June 21st. 6.30 at the Abington Senior Center. We're going to have another training with other boards from the town. It's going to go over open meeting, law review, review of expectations of volunteer committee and board members, conducting a meeting with civility and respect, de-escalation techniques for dealing with contentious meetings, public records law review, discrimination and harassment overview. This meeting is mandatory for this board. Oh, also one other thing, I got an email uh, the other day from Water and Wetlands. They did a treatment up at Cleveland Pond today. Um, that was something, I don't know if you were on the board last year, Lynn, we approved. It's like a three year program just to kill all the invasive uh, milfoil. And I forget what the other plant was that's in the, in the pond. Okay. And they'll give us a report at the end of the year on that.
So I want to make a motion to adjourn. Are we going to discuss the enforcement order? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Um, so I think the first thing should be to get a wetland scientist out there, come up with a restoration plan or a temporary restoration plan for that first wetland and then also an overall restoration plan for all the areas that have been disturbed. One of the things that Andrew said at the training that we had in February yep. about enforcement orders is that they had just had a training that like a week prior and he said previously they would say here's an enforcement order and now you can do an NOI and their council is saying instead saying you give an enforcement order and you just flat out say restore. I didn't quite understand the legal reasoning. I guess it's because it kind of, if you say yes to an NOI, it gives them the impression that their project will be completed and it will be approved. So instead, and you can talk to Andrew about that. Maybe he can clarify. So whatever we have in our enforcement order, we can't say, oh, and come back later for NOI. Just doing what we say about restore. Well, that'd be the, yeah, I mean, he's not ready for an NOI right yeah. now anyways, because he hasn't, he doesn't have a plan on what he wants to do yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's critical we get this area restored and then. Big time. Yeah. Whenever he, whenever they decide what they're going to do. Right. They come before us, but this needs to be. Yep. Fixed. Now. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's, well, lucky we haven't had rain. Yeah. It's, I can't even imagine if we do what it's going to look like. Yep. Mm. I mean, is there a way to fast track anything at least to get it stabilized? Because, I mean, we're looking at, we won't see him until the 14th again. No, but like I said, if Andrew comes, gives me a phone call tomorrow and touch base with him and see what his thoughts are, mm -hmm. I'm sure if even he wants to come up and take a look at it, mm -hmm. you know, he's usually. That would be yeah. very, that would be very would be helpful if he could, if he could yeah. Yeah. take a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would. And then when I got on the board, same thing. We had an, it wasn't an enforcement order, but it was a property we did a site walk January there, and he he was, he made it out there for it on like two or three days' notice. So yeah, yeah, for something like this, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Especially where it's surrounded by state park. Right. Yeah. So there, when you look at the map of the state park, they don't show John L. Sullivan Way. Yep. Um, but it has like trails E7 and E8. They're, they're not, that's all private property. We're not, not all of it, but a lot of it is private property. But even when you go to the state site, it still has them listed. Shouldn't. Oh, okay. so those aren't real? It, it shouldn't. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Like even, I think there's some trails that go behind Dan's house. But it's private property but because nobody posts signs, people walk there and think they but, can walk all the way around. But yet there is one, isn't there? Isn't there a road up on Hancock Street yep. that goes straight down there? I don't know if that's a, like a, a brush, a firebrush it's the, lane. The town owns that little, little okay, sliver. Okay, so it is that, yeah. all right. So yep. that is town owned, so perhaps yep. maybe. Uh, and then you have the Porecki farm which yep, yep. again is not owned by the town or the state. Yep, yep. It was it was tough to see. Alright, so have them get a wetland scientist, come up with a temporary solution unless we hear back from Andrew. Um, mm -hmm. probably set up a meeting with the EP before any anything takes place. Mm-hmm. No oh. work. <laughs> I mean, same. They might, they might get involved in this too if the environmental police contact them. So I mean, who knows what's going to happen? But we have to do our part, anyways, for now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the only other thing I can think of is just come up with the final uh, restoration plan. Have the environmental police? Are they going to like touch base with the? Tony's waiting for the report. Okay. 
from the officer that went out there. Okay. And I recall when we last did an enforcement order, there was like a deadline that we had to fill out. Yep. So I don't think we want to do six months like we did before, right? For 154, we just said, eh, six months, and they would be motivated to get out here sooner. Yeah, and I mean, problem is if you don't miss the, if you don't make the growing season, I mean, we should make the, the temporary fix, I think, two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I would think they could do that. Yeah. They can still plant up until mid-October. It's a, yeah. I'm saying I, I wouldn't say the final restoration plan should be done by June 30th, but yeah. it should because if all if those plants, the growing season's already passed, then they can still plant. I mean, the ideal planting is May 15th to June 15th. Yeah, which it's unlikely <laughs> he's going to have that. But then you know there are plenty of options that you can still after like from September October. Um, it's a great time to plant like the trees and shrubs and stuff like that. Um, but there needs to be something for stabilization. Yep. Even if he throws seed, you know, from a wetlands wetlands mix or something, mix or or something. Yeah. just yeah. to stabilize some of that beyond the erosion controls that you guys know. But would you have the? I don't even know if the. I don't know if that seed would take with what's laying down in that grass. Yeah, just pure it's mud. All just mixed. Everything's mixed now. It's it's a disaster. Yeah. I feel sorry for the wetland scientist. I do. Uh, oh, a lot of work. Yeah, a lot of work. Well, I, it, it should be for the wetland scientist. It shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, it's basically you can see everything on both sides. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is how they're going to stabilize it and make a temporary fix until they can actually do the final restoration. Mm -hmm. So two weeks for a temporary fix, does that sound? Yeah. So two weeks from? I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure he's going to want to get it <laughs> resolved as soon as he can. I mean, I don't know if we can have a special meeting if he comes up with a plan by the end of this week, if we can just, Tony, throw together a quick meeting next week just to approve what he wants to do so that he can do it, because we don't want to hold him up. We don't want to be the ones to hold him up from fixing it. Fixing restoring it. Right. Yeah, restoring it. Yeah. 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 It would have to be probably sometime at the end of next week, but let's see what what he comes back with. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's got to get in touch with the wetland scientist who can actually come out and do it anyways, because they're probably swamped right now as well. Mm-hmm, yeah. But, I mean, Andrew could also come back and say, this is what we need to do for a temporary fix if we do a site walk. And, I mean, if Andrew recommends something and we're okay with it, we can approve it. And right. Go yeah. that route, too. Yeah. So, anything else you think we can... Well, what do we want to put for a date for the final restoration? Um, for it to be complete like the last plantings for yeah. the year. Oh boy, that's going to be hard to kind of calculate October because we 15th. don't. Maybe what? even October 1st. Well, we can always amend the. a couple of weeks as water and stabilize maybe. Yeah, October 1st is the late. Yeah, and once we get the wetland science report, we can always amend the yeah. enforcement order for a different date. I mean, as long as they get stuff stabilized, if they can get something planted in the fall, and then if it is better to have some plant the following spring, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Um, but yeah, I think October 1st for the last, so you're thinking the last plantings? Yeah, I would say. Okay. And that gives them at least a month before we see the frost, at least they'll have a chance. Yeah. So what was yeah. the date for the temporary fix? I know you said two weeks, but do you have the calendar date? Two weeks, so that would be the... The 7th. 
No, it's this no, 14th. Not the 7th. That's next week. Oh. The 14th. Yeah. Remember Tony's okay. at the 14th. That's right. No, two weeks would be the 7th. The 7th, yeah. Oh, I was. So I'll the say, meeting say, the, say the 8th. The 8th. We'll do two weeks from tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Then you might want to see if he wants to get on the meeting for the 14th. Hopefully he's got a plan by then that we can look at mm -hmm. for the final restoration. Anything else you guys can think of? No. a motion to approve the items on the enforcement order? I'll make a motion to approve the items on the enforcement order for 0 Hancock Street. Second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, one other thing for um, site visits I forgot. Uh, 154 Brockton Ave, they want to set up a site visit for the uh, replication areas. Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon work for everybody, or after five o'clock. Tuesday after five should be fine, or Wednesday, I think. And what's it for, Paul? Just to discuss where they're going to put the Yeah, that was one of the one of the conditions was yeah, to have a pre-construction yeah. um, Tuesday. Either one works fine. That's fine. Even 4.30, I think. 5 o'clock, I think. 5? Tuesday? Tuesday at 5? You can, post, you can post that. You have enough time to... Okay. That's this upcoming Tuesday, right? Hmm? This upcoming Tuesday. Right? Yes. Yeah. That's... Okay. May. Now, is that June 1st? Yes. Right? What's that? What's the date on that? First? I think it's June 1st. Oh, wow. Yeah. The year's going by so fast. Tuesday, June yeah, 1st. It's going by wicked. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, the 31st. Yep, June oh, 31st. 31st. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Memorial May Day. May 31st. All right, good. <sighs> all right, that's all we got. I want to make it now. Does somebody want to make a motion to adjourn? <laughs> I'll make a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? I'll second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you.